coronavirus standoff in Andover. Teachers going back to school but refusing to go in the school. Teachers say it's just not safe during the pandemic. And tonight, as Nick Emmons shows us, the town is now taking action to get those teachers back into the classroom. Now, hybrid classes are set to begin September 16th, but teachers here in Andover have some concerns about how safe classrooms will be. We are saying there's no need for us to be inside the building. The school year is off to a rocky start in Andover even before classes begin. Today, teachers chose to stay outside on their first day back to work, worried about air quality inside school buildings. There is tremendous uh, feelings of anxiety and risk. Last week, the teachers' union voted to participate in 10 days of professional development remotely okay. as the union negotiates with the district on working conditions. The district and the school committee and the superintendent are not negotiating in good faith. School officials say the buildings are safe, and what happened today was unfortunate and illegal. This is a situation in which there are only losers and no winners. The school committee believes the teacher's refusal to enter buildings is a violation of Massachusetts general laws, calling it an illegal work stoppage. I think the law is pretty clear that work stoppages in whole or in part are illegal in Massachusetts by public employees. Tonight, the committee voted unanimously to have legal counsel petition the Department of Labor Relations. The motion passes 5-0. Um, the teachers' union has yet to respond to the committee's vote, and reaction from people in the community has been mixed. I think it's really important what the teachers are doing. Um, I know some of like the higher ups in town aren't really listening. I'm not sure if this is truly just about safety concerns anymore. And teachers are due back for day two of professional development tomorrow. The superintendent called what happened today a missed opportunity for the teachers to see the safety protocols put into place. In Andover, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. All right, Nick, thank